is this golden raft the key to El Dorado? Because it's made by a Muisca craftsman and shows Muisca people, because they are long gone and their cultures disappeared, this is the closest we can come to hearing them speak for themselves. Those protrusions there. The raft is priceless because of the technological complexity and because it's a memory of the, of the past of, of Colombia. But how was it made? As an expert in ancient metalwork, Marcos Martin Antores wants to see it for himself. He's asked the local craftsman to model a Muisca chieftain, like the one on the El Dorado raft, using traditional Muisca methods. It begins with a wax model. Today, wax can be bought, but the Muisca must have harvested theirs from hives. So here we have the ancient and the modern counterpart, but they are exactly the same material. It's beeswax. Things haven't changed that much. The wax is easy to shape. It's like cutting into cheese. See? But it's at this stage that the real work is done. And you work in individual parts, like legs, torso, so that you can pay more attention to every single detail in it. The idea is that every part of the figure even the pieces which appear to be separate, will be made in one single pouring of molten gold. Now we can really picture what it's going to look like. The gold will flow through channels made by these wax feeders. And if one of them doesn't work, we have no raft. The next challenge is to cover the sculpture in clay, filling every gap without breaking the wax. And then comes the truly ingenious part. Wax melts, so when it's heated, the model turns to liquid and flows out, leaving behind what they hope is a perfect model of the Kathika, or chieftain. And up to this point, you have invested about a week of your time, and you don't know yet if you will finally get your golden Kathika out of this. It's just mind-blowing. When the mold is dry, it's ready for the gold. And now that everything's cooled, it's time to see the result. This is really impressive. Congratulations. You've done it. And every single tendon is dangling. It's just unbelievable. <laughs>